Alright, what's up YouTube? Mustang Matt here again, bringing you guys another brand new video. And today I'm in my garage. Finally got some uh, time to pull the Mustang in the garage out of the cold weather. So that I can uh, work on her and get some stuff done. So I can get a, another video update out to you guys. Because I know it's been a couple weeks. But uh, I've still been trying to get more videos for you guys put out. Just the, the winter weather has been kind of crappy around uh, my area and we've gotten rain multiple times, snow multiple times, um, not a ton but it's just been like cold weather that sort of thing it's hard to work on the car out, outside so um, basically I got it in the garage here I'll show you guys as you saw and um, just gonna go over and start doing a lot of the wiring stuff I just want to get all the wiring put back in so that I can test it and figure out what stuff's not working and uh, what needs to be fixed. Um, I repaired a lot of the wires in the wiring harness like I showed you guys in the last video I think. So that should be uh, good to go. I just need to wire in uh, the fuel pump still and that sort of stuff. All the wires are ran, they just need to be all tied together. And then I did pick up, um, actually I don't know where it is, but I picked up the bracket for the center console which it, which is where did I put it? Um, well, I'll find it when I go to put it in and uh, show you guys. I got I got stuff everywhere, so it's uh, kind of hard to find. I was gonna originally make the center console bracket, but I decided that it would be too hard, and I found one on eBay for like fifteen or twenty bucks. So. That was pretty uh, cheap, so I thought I'd just buy that, and it's going to be an original factory fitting part, so that'll be cool. But um, I have a couple other things I might show you guys that I picked up, so uh, stay tuned in the video, and I'll uh, get started. Sorry, my mic was muted, uh, but as I was just explaining, the wiring harness is all back in now. I got the uh, ignition all hooked back up. Had to put some zip ties on here because these uh, Fox body ignitions, they don't like to stay um, crimped in basically. So there's these little uh, little metal tabs that hold it in. You can see there on either end. But once those are you know worn and broken in and have been taken off a few times like this one has, they don't like to stay in. So it was zip tied already. So I just went, around, went ahead and re-zip tied it, but everything's connected up to the rear harness and then I went ahead and pulled through the uh, wires here for the headlight harness and then uh, these ones I think are for my um, I think that's for the horn and stuff that was on it but won't be needing that and then here's the rest of the the front harness. I just have to connect uh, this plug, obviously, up to this one. Um, but I went ahead and threw the gauge cluster in there. I'm going to connect that. And then um, everything in the back I un untaped. So there's the harness kind of laid out. Um, the pink wire is going to be my uh, fuel pump, so I just got to connect that, and then I'm going to connect the wire here for fuel gauge sender, so obviously there's no fuel in it yet, and I'm not going to put any um, until it's closer to start up, but that way it's connected, and um, there's not really going to be a way to test to see if it's working yet, but anyways, all that's untaped, and I'll show you really quick. I'm about to throw in the center console so I can throw in my switch panel or sorry wire in the switch panel but basically I'm gonna start wiring that in and testing it but this is what I picked up off eBay so essentially it's supposed to mount up under here like so and then that's what holds in the those side ones hold in the glove box, or not glove box, the armrests. 
So that'll mount right in the middle and I'll show you that once I got it in. All right guys, so got another little update. Basically have a ground up here that I attach. I'm, I just basically went through, got all the grounds, make sure they were clean and everything like that. So we should be good to go. There's two right there. And then the only other one was back here. Right here for the rear tail lights. So like tail lights and then main harness is basically what that bigger ground, the second one I showed you. And then over here, I hooked up the ground for the negative battery or the negative on the battery. So that's it right there. I sanded all the paint off because I forgot to tape that little part off. And then basically all I have to do is uh, attach this uh, power cable here and then we should be good to go to test at least the main functions of the, the car and everything like that. I don't have to hook up any of the switches on the switch panel or anything yet, hopefully. So uh, I'm gonna test it though and uh, I guess see what happens. Probably should have like a fire extinguisher or something because <laughs> I have a lot of these uh, like wires like these where they're just spliced out, but any of them that were like touching anything I, I made sure to tape all the ones that were bare most of them are just cut off anyway so they're not going to actually come into contact with stuff hopefully so all right and I'll give you guys an update in a little bit all right guys so another update for you I'm actually pretty happy because I got most of everything working that we need working um Basically, I'll go ahead and show you guys, but let me go connect the battery again. But uh, lights, tail lights, um, brake lights, all that good stuff is working. The dash is working just like it should. Glove box light is working as you can see. So that's obviously on all the time until, uh, until the glove box is in and then it shuts off when you do that. But uh, anyways, I'll go ahead and do a little test. Show you guys, let me make sure everything's good to go. So when I turn the key on, we get our gauges here. And then the uh, headlight switch. As you can see, headlights work, high beams. And then lights back there are working. That's the uh, running lights. And then uh, let me reach under here. And then we got brake lights. One of the bulbs on the third uh, Third brake light seems to be out, but that's no big deal. I'll check the wiring, but uh, should be good to go. Um, the only thing that's not working for some reason is my turn signals. And uh, I think I know what it is, but basically I had to rewire in this. Hold on, let me see if I can get it to focus. This orange wire here was unplugged on the switch up here and I plugged it back in where I think it goes according to a wiring diagram and then uh, when I was putting this back on the clip right there snapped so now I have to hold that on with a zip tie unfortunately um, it was just too cold I think and it snapped right off went flying over there somewhere but uh oh well but I think basically now what it is, I'm pretty sure all the wiring is good. I think it might be my flasher. So this guy here basically plugs in. That's what everything plugs into. I need to go get my multimeter though and test this. Um, 
I don't know if I could test this flasher or not, but I'm gonna just test to see if the power's coming to it. And then uh, if so, I'll replace this and see if that fixes it. If not, then I still got more wiring issues, but I think that might fix the issue because I know before the car stopped running last time, I'm pretty sure that the uh, lights were having an issue um, or the turn signals rather were having an issue flashing too. So I'm, I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure Hopefully, fingers crossed that that's the problem, and then everything else is good to go. I can start uh, permanently putting it back together, splicing wires that I just spliced in, because originally I took out that brake switch on accident. So I put that back in, got the brakes working again, so I was happy about that. And then, uh, yeah, I'll give you guys another update probably tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, um, I'll have to wait and get that flasher when the parts store opens again. But stay tuned for that update and hopefully I can get everything going. All right guys, so I got some progress updates for you. Um, it took me a little bit longer than expected because of uh, the holidays and everything, of course, with everyone being with their families and stuff, I was with mine. So hope you all had a great Christmas though. And uh, I should have a Christmas video coming out um, that should already be out before this video but I'm gonna try to get this video up the next day or uh, so hopefully but basically I've gotten everything else figured out I've gotten the churn signals to work and the um, trunk release over there that you can't see um, wasn't working and I forgot that when I bought this new um, center console and everything the because my trunk release was broken off of I didn't have a center console it was broken off so this new one came with this whole piece my old one was broken off right here so when I went to wire it in the trunk release didn't work so I don't know it just had something to do with this this switch right here so I basically just put in uh, the other switch that I had and now it works so that's good got that uh, problem all fixed. I thought it was going to be something with the wiring, but um, I just forgot about that. And so once I got that done, uh, now it works great. Um, so the other thing I wanted to show you, let me put you down here real quick. I'll show you that in a second, but I wanted to show you guys the turn signals now work. Sorry, and I don't know if I told you in the last one, but um, the brakes now work. So let me show you that. I think I already showed you. So that's all good to go. And then now my turn signals left, right. And obviously back here, left, right. And then obviously the ones in the front do work. I've already checked that out. So pretty sweet guys. Uh, everything else works great. Um, the lights work. Everything like that works, high beam. And then I don't know if you can tell, but it dims when I turn on the lights. There it goes. So when it's all the way on, they dim. And what basically what the problem I found with the turn signals was right back here, there's that orange wire I think I was telling you about right here. But basically I had it in the wrong spot. So I finally found the wiring diagram and uh, I just need to glue it in because the reason it fell out in the first place was uh, the clip broke. So once I get that glued in, we'll be all good to go. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. All right guys, so I had to go to Summit and I actually picked up a couple more things of wire loom because basically the smaller wires wouldn't, um, I didn't want to put the smaller wires in the big tubing for what I got is uh, I think half inch tubing. This is three eighths. So it's a little bit smaller. Um, it's hard to tell on video here without comparing it, but uh, it's a lot smaller than the other stuff. It should only fit about 
three or four wires. So that's all I wanted was uh, for the, a lot of the wires in the car that go out to some of the lights and, and different switches like the gov glove block. Can't talk. Glove box switch where it's uh, only two wires. I just wanted something that would be a lot better for that. So I'm going to go ahead and start wiring or sorry, wire looming everything and kind of zip tying everything, electrical taping all the wires and getting them all packed in now that everything's working. And then hopefully we'll be getting the dash in and, and start putting the interior, most of the interior back in at least. All right, guys. So I have a huge update for you guys. I got a lot done over the past night. Um, kind of actually forget where I left off. So let me show you guys what I did. I basically have finished the wire looming on the car um, up until the, the front point, but um, man, it's really dark. Sorry on camera, but all this is wire loomed all the way back here on the main hoop or uh, main light hoop. It looks really, 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 really good. So I'm super happy with how that's turned out. And then as you see right here, there's actually a, a splice here, which goes underneath to the, the fuel pump here. Sorry if it's gonna be dark, I'm gonna brighten it up as much as I can. I still have to strap this down, um, but this basically runs in and wires into my fuel pump. Ignore this uh, hose in the way. But um, basically, let me get a zoom for you guys. If you guys can see that, I got some basically weatherproof connectors from AutoZone, waterproof, I guess you could say. And basically they kind of have like sh heat shrink, this like heat shrink, shrink glue stuff on them. And basically uh, I just uh, heat that up with a lighter and it actually kind of melted some glue on the inside too. So it's hard to tell on camera, but um, coming out right there, is like a little bit of glue stuff. It's kind of kind of cool, but it seals really good, it looks like. And then I just have to strap this loom down somewhere. I was just gonna strap it to this filter maybe right here. But uh, that's all done. So my fuel pump's all wired up until the uh, inside of the car. So now let me go show you guys over here where we got a little bit more, a uh, little bit more light. But basically I have wired up, ignore that piece, that's some extra. I basically wired up the line running right here to the fuel sending unit and that works. I tested the gauge and then that goes into a bunch right there. And then this one here is the uh, rear lights there. So I just have to paint my rear third brake light and then that connects to the third brake light. And then I have this main loop that runs right down here. Let me show you. So it runs along here. I kind of secured it with those clips, but I'm gonna do a better job later. And then, let me get this out of the way. And then down here, I've spliced in two new connectors. Let me just zoom in on them for you. So I got two new connectors. So I got rid of these ones that had a crap load of wires that I wasn't using. So now it's really clean. And then that red wire you see there, I just got to run to my switch panel, which is going to go in the center. Um, and then that's all done for my, or actually I should say that's got to get wired up still. Um, I was going to wire in the fuel pump cause now I can do that. And then I've also gone ahead, wire loom the glove block, glove box switch, which, uh, the, the loom runs all the way to right there and then stops. Still got to electrical tape a lot of that stuff. And then uh, this is the other one, the glove box light, which I loomed also. So those two are good to go. I did have to replace the button for the trunk release. It wasn't working with this new, I believe I explained that before, the new um, center console I got, but now it works fine. So yeah, 
And then uh, let me go show you the front and the, the front light harness. I think I'm gonna do some work on. Um, basically a lot of these connectors, this one had like some bare wire and then it started breaking right here. The wire started breaking right there. So I might just throw a whole new front harness on or I'm gonna replace that connector and replace whatever light light sockets that I need to. And then I'll loom all this right here, but this doesn't need to be loomed yet. I still have to uh, connect my alternator, so that's probably gonna be something I do next, but that shouldn't take too long. I just gotta order up the plug for it. Um, and then these are for the wiper motor, I think, and that's it. And then I left the extra wire for my, one of those is for my oil pressure sender and one is for my water temperature sender and that stuff I'll kind of do later. I think I'm just going to leave it for an hour, cut them off, leave them long because if I connect them now, I'm going to be pulling the engine when, uh, eventually when I need to paint the engine bay anyways. So, um, it's not something that I want to do right now. And then as you can see, I spent a lot of time doing this. This was a pain in the butt. Um, like I basically did some brain surgery, I feel like after doing this, but what I did was I ran from the power wire from the back and it runs through this, um, I forget what you call this, the, the side portion of the, the lower port portion of the, uh, door, um, and then ran it all the way to the, the front right here. Sorry, it's kind of hard for me to get get an angle on it and what I went ahead and did was opened up uh, opened up the holes a little bit there was actually a hole right there already and then there was a hole back here already and as you can see I put uh, some grommets some plastic uh, wire grommets in there so they won't get cut up on the edge and basically had to run this piece of extra wire that I had through there fish it around because this portion right here is actually like a little socket. And then when you go around the outside of it, towards the outside more, it goes through to the front. So I kept hitting right here and it wouldn't go past right here because of this way this, this portion of the car was put together. This was kind of like put over it, you know what I mean? And it's kind of boxed. So I had to feed the wire around. I actually used a camera that I have um, right here to kind of see what I was doing in there. I stuck it through some of these holes here in the hole in the front and then I finally got the wire up there after like an hour of fishing it and uh, grabbed it with some pliers so I'm super happy about that I might need to do something right here to keep it from rubbing on there but that shouldn't be a big deal I can just put some uh, something on there but this was just gonna run up and then I'll punch a hole through or go through that hole there probably go through that hole there um, for the old that was where the old ECU came through so obviously the new one I'm going to build a little um, ECU panel basically and have a cover on it so then when people are sitting in the passenger seat um, it's it's accessible but they won't be able to like kick it and break it I'll just make a cover on it and then this wire will kind of just run behind it and through the firewall along with the rest of the ECU wires but yeah I'm pretty much done um, with what I wanted to get done right now I'm going to go ahead and try to get in the seats and I might just test fit the dash, just put it in to see how it looks. Cause this is going to look so much better than before. I'm so pumped already. Um, and I got the center console mounted. I just need to get a new lid for my center console, actual center console thing. Um, I'll, I'll show you guys that though. Cause it, the lid was all jacked up and broke and then I still got to paint the rest of it. So I'm just going to wait for the new lid and then I'll paint it and throw it in there. But uh, I'm gonna throw the seats in now um, because I wanna get that stuff in and then tidy up the rest of the wires up here and um, finish a couple things like hot gluing that wire back in and then the, all the interior will pretty much be ready for the roll cage, which I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do next. Comment down below if you think that's a good idea of doing the roll cage and maybe the tube front end kinda at the same time, have my buddy help me. Um, weld it all in. I'm going to get a tubing notcher and just do it myself because I don't want to pay like a grand when I have a welder. I just need to get MIG gas for it. And then we're going to just do the roll cage, I think, and then work on the turbo stuff next. 
that's kind of the plan of action, I think. So let me know if you guys think that's a good idea or if I should just do the tube front end and the turbo, get it running and then do the cage after the fact. But I feel like it's gonna be much better just to have the cage in and done. That way I don't have to worry about taking anything apart that I that I have to, to for whatever reason, to do the cage later. I think it's a better idea. So uh, this is already going on long, but I'll try to throw these seats back in there. I just wanna get them in so when I do start if I do start test fitting the roll cage, then uh, I know kind of where the bars are gonna run, that sort of thing. All right, I'll give you guys an update in a little bit. All right, guys, so I got the seats all in and pretty much finished up the wiring that I wanted to get done on the dash. I'll kind of uh, see if I can show you guys here. So basically, I wire loomed the controls here for the headlights. Um, wire loom the control here for the hazards, which for some reason my hazards don't work. They don't flash, so I'm not entirely sure why yet, but it's not a real big deal to me. And then um, you already saw I ran the power line through and everything up here I started to to um, electrical tape, just kind of secure it. And I'm gonna wire loom a little bit, the little bit that goes through the firewall. But uh, I'm gonna wait till I, I get the, the headlight stuff done before I do that. And then I tuck this into here, but loom the rest of this wire coming from the back seat that just kind of sat in there. And then uh, as I already showed you guys before, all that's just kind of hanging because I still got to paint that third brake light. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much um, ready to go now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, slap the dash in for you guys and uh, show you what it looks like. But uh, that'll probably be coming out in a little bit because I'm going to start the roll cage, I think, next. Um, but the seats are back in and so far everything looks so much better. Like a thousand times better so I'm gonna th throw the dash in here and show you guys kind of what the interior is gonna look like so uh, yeah I like it already all right guys so the dash is finally in let me show you guys what it looks like I just threw I just threw like a bolt over there and a bolt over here on top <laughs> um, you can't really see it but um, so far it looks like 20 times better than it was. I'm like super, super excited on, and super stoked on how it looks. I think it looks amazing. I kind of just set the switch panel in there to get an idea. And then obviously I still got to put the block off plates here for my vents. So I'll technically have room for a gauge here, which I don't think I'm going to do. Um, but then I'm going to do, I think like a air fuel, uh, PSI, like, um, boost gauge and then whatever extra, and then, uh, just block off that one over there. Um, I just wanted to set this in here cause I think I'm going to kind of test fit the cage. The cage will basically probably go through that hole right there and then come up and then the crossbar and everything. So I, I wanted to leave those open and uh, I might take the dash back out to do that, but um, I just wanted to put it in here real quick, show you guys how it looks, because I think it looks amazing. Um, a lot better than it was before. It's not seven colors over here. Obviously, I still got to put the console in, but I'm not going to worry about that, because um, it'll just have to come out anyways, like I said, when I do the cage. And then once the cage gets done, um, hopefully in the next couple weeks or so, um, once I get time to do that, then we'll be able to put all this back in for the final time and I'm gonna make the panel over there for the engine like ECU that sort of stuff the EFI gold is what I'm gonna get I think for this motor um, it's just gonna work best it has so many features but anyways that'll all be for a later video show you guys here real quick the gauges look amazing I don't know why the uh, oh the volts is flashing I'm pretty sure because the uh, voltage is low, obviously, um, because I don't have an alternator on the battery or anything like that. Let me lower this down really quick so you guys can see it. But it's like 
literally when I have the steering wheel up here, um, kind of like right there where, where it'll be when I'm driving, this is what I see. So I literally put it in the perfect spot just by guessing. So I'm, I'm super stoked on that. And then as you can see, all that good stuff works. I just got to put in the, uh, switches, but I'm not going to do that because they're a pain to get in and out. So I'll leave them behind the dash until, like I said, we get the cage in and, uh, for the final time we can do that. I think it's just going to be better to do the cage now than later. Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention is the, uh, switches. I could wire in the fuel pump switch right now. And, uh, I don't think it'd be a good idea to dry test it. I'm not sure if that's something that, uh, is really bad for it or not just clicking it on real quick to see if it works but um the wires be behind here um the wires back there so it's ready to go uh, i just got to wire it in and then wire the 12 volts to this switch panel but obviously um, i just have a temporary connection down there just to test things out but everything works everything like that so uh yeah but that's going to just be i'll connect that later because i don't want to have to have it pull it out and everything and the wire will be connected so I wouldn't be able to pull it out. Um, plans for the shifter I'll just mention really quick. I think I'm going to go measure again but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to set it kind of like right here is my plan because when I'm sitting here you know it'll be like something like right there. So that's kind of where the old stick shift was so it'll work good with the, the shifter I want to get because I got the cup holders here. I can always r remove those, but I, I, I would like to have cup holders, <laughs> even though it's a drag street car, it'll be nice, um, to, you know, go to, go to in and out or go to somewhere and, uh, grab some fast food. Obviously I'd be doing a lot of car meets and they go to all sorts of places. So that would be cool to put a drink in there, even just waters and stuff. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and, uh, Give me a comment down below if you can answer some of those questions I had just in general throughout the video. It would help me out a lot and I appreciate talking to all you guys and I appreciate all the thumbs up and the support. We are uh, almost at 1500 subscribers so if you can share the video please and uh, you know get me to 1500 that would be huge because basically in a year I've gone from zero <laughs> zero subscribers to almost 1500 so I was super stoked on that. It's 2017 now. So this will probably be my first update video 2017. So uh, smash the like button, you guys. And uh, stay tuned for more content. Like I said, coming up next is probably going to be roll cage or, or uh, front end, tube front end related stuff as what the plan is. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, peace out.